Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and today I want to share a a message, something that I've I've actually been thinking about this for quite some time as I'm quickly approaching my 9 year anniversary of being in a wheelchair, of nearly losing my life, becoming paralyzed and everything that has just happened from there and afterwards. And the one thing that I think about the most in my whole journey, and it's also something I, that many people actually ask, is would I do anything different? Are there some things that I regret in, in this life that I wish I would have done? And I see it from this perspective that I was lucky to get a second chance and not everyone gets a second chance. So I'm very grateful for my life. I'm very grateful for having a sound mind, being still able to do many things. Even though I'm in a wheelchair, I'm extremely grateful for, for what I still have. And this is the question, you know, what what is the one thing that I regret? What is the one thing that I wish I did more before my accident? Now, I had both, you know, best of both worlds, okay? So, I was an able-bodied athlete, and I became paralyzed. Now, I'm in a wheelchair. Yes, I still do sports, and I'm very active, but I know what it, what it feels like and what it is to have full control over your body, to be able to run, to be able to, to walk and climb stairs and, and do, you know, anything with your body. And then I got paralyzed at the age of 24, and now I'm in a wheelchair. So I know what it feels like to be able, but also disabled. And I've got insight into both worlds, I can essentially say. And I'll tell you, they are vastly different. And when I think about the things that I regret, that I wish I did more, sure, it does pass my mind that I wish I went more for a run when I didn't feel like it. I wish I walked my dog when I didn't feel like it those days. I wish I went and climbed more mountains the days that I was lazy, the days that I didn't feel like it. I wish I did all these things more. But the truth is, when is enough? How many times do you want to go running to, to make that enough? How many times do you want to go climb a mountain so that it will be enough? If something happens like this, what happened to me in my life, it will never be enough. There will never be enough times that you could have done something before it gets taken away from you. And that's the reality. So if there's one thing that I regret, one thing that I wish I did more when I was still able-bodied, when I wasn't paralyzed, and this is probably going to shock you because after my accident, I became radically saved. I dedicated my life to the Lord and I started living 100% for Jesus. Now, why do I wish I did that more before my accident? Because I'm considering myself lucky to be alive. And what if, what if I didn't get a second chance? What if I died that day and I never recommitted my life to Jesus? I never lived fully for Jesus. What would have happened? Where would I be today? And that is the the biggest regret that I have in my life. And I know we shouldn't live in the past, but I'm just being transparent. I'm just being honest with you guys. The one thing that I wish I did more is tell more people about Jesus. Yes, I do it today. I'm in full-time ministry. But back then, I didn't witness for Jesus. I kept my faith to myself. I kept it private. I... I wasn't vocal about my faith. I'm not saying every person should go on a street corner and start preaching. That's not what I'm saying. But I wish I shared Jesus with more people around me, my loved ones, my friends, my family. And then also, I wish I spent more time with Jesus before my accident. We, we don't have to go through traumatic experiences, traumatic events, to get a wake up call in life. And I always, you know, that's that's one of the the predominant messages that I preach is that you don't have to wait until these things happen to you to get a wake up call to realize that we need to live 100% for Jesus. And I think it's easy for me to say. 
It's easy for me to say in my position because of the things that I have gone through. Your life might be perfect and that's also fine. And I've just realized that the moment we go through difficult times, the moment we get faced with adversity, we run to the Lord. And I wish I wish so many people would grasp that you don't need a tragic event. You don't need something to go through in your life before you start living for Jesus. The moment you start witnessing for him. And I want to say this one thing that I've experienced so many amazing things in my life, like incredible things. Um, I was a professional sportsman. I had a successful career. Even when I was in a, am in a wheelchair, I've done stuff that no one in the world has done. And I'm saying this with all humility to, to emphasize a point here that I've done Ironman. I've, I've swam the Robin Island crossing. I've done the comrades ultra marathon. I've done all these things, but let me tell you this, that nothing will fulfill you in this life. No amount of money, no amount of achievements, no amount of success, no amount of friends, nothing, not a bigger house, not a better car. It will all be temporary. What truly satisfies us is having a relationship with Jesus. And take this from me. I'm, I'm trying to be transparent as possible that you can have all those things. You can do everything in this life. You can exhaust what this world is able to give you. You can squeeze everything out of it, but it will still leave a void in your heart, which only Jesus can fill. Only Jesus can fill that gap and give you complete peace, complete fulfillment. And I wish I knew that before I got paralyzed because I tried to fill my life with different things, different experiences, trying to feel alive essentially and it's it's ironic because you will only truly feel alive the moment you die to Christ I'm going to say that again you will only truly feel alive when you die to Christ and I think that is like the takeaway message of of this whole thing what I wish I did more before my accident before I got paralyzed is not running more, is not climbing the highest mountain, is not being more physical, it's not using my legs more. It was dying to Christ earlier in my life because that has given me more fulfillment than my legs ever could. Than my legs ever could. So I ask myself this question, would I get back in that car if I knew everything that was going to happen, if I knew that accident was going to happen, if I knew I was going to be paralyzed, if I knew the difficulty and trials that I had to face in order to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. And the answer is an overwhelming yes, because nothing in this world can compare to having relationship with Jesus. And I know many people, you need to hear this. And I just pray that you will receive this with an open heart and an open mind. No matter what you're going through or no matter how much success you have, that nothing will satisfy you as Jesus Christ. And you know what? That's for free. It doesn't cost you monetary value at all. It will only cost you, only cost you to die to yourself and give your life to Christ. So guys, I hope that, I hope that blesses you because that has just been so on my heart the past few days and I just couldn't shake it. And I know that some people needed to hear that. I hope it blesses you. And I want to ask, maybe share this video with someone that needs to see this, someone that needs to hear this. Share this video, share this channel with them. I'm just being real and transparent and raw with you guys. I'm, I'm letting you into my world of becoming paralyzed and what it's like, the thought process, what goes on inside of here. And I really hope it gives you some insight and a change in perspective for, for your life and what you might be going through. And um, I want to pray for us before we go. 
that we will always keep Jesus number one and we will always, always keep our eyes focused on him and not the world. So, Father, thank you for every single person on this live stream, every person listening, every person that's going to listen to this afterwards as well. Father, I pray that you will give them the spirit of wisdom and revelation of who your son is, Jesus Christ, as you say in your word, Ephesians 1.17. Give us that fresh revelation of who Jesus is and the love that he has for us and that nothing in this world can compare, nothing can fulfill, nothing can replace. Jesus, we love you, we glorify you, and we give you all the honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, guys, bless you, and I'll see you then in a few days' time for another video.